Jordan Robertson. We're at Benzinga's Future of Crypto event. And sitting down with me is Josh Frazier, co-founder of Origin Protocol. How are you, Josh? Doing great. How are you? Awesome. Great. I'm doing well myself. So can you give us a little background? What is Origin Protocol? So Origin has two products. Uh, one focused on NFTs called Origin Story and a yield-bearing stablecoin called Origin Dollar. Uh, so our NFT platform, Origin Story, made a, a lot of headlines last year. We did Blau's sale, but did $11.7 million. Really, it was a pivotal moment that brought NFTs into the mainstream consciousness. Mm -hmm. uh, from there, we worked with big brands like SpaceX, a lot of musicians, creators, celebrities, people like Paris Hilton, um, launched NFTs on our platform. And then we have Origin Dollar, uh, or OUSD, which is a yield-bearing stablecoin. So it's 100% self-custodial, hold it in your wallet, uh, and you can earn yields uh, from the highest yield that's available in DeFi while still remaining safe. So you can earn right now around 7.5%. Uh, you hold it in your wallet and, and watch your balance grow. So it's one of the easiest and safest ways to earn in DeFi without all the hassles that's typically involved with, with yield farming. And speaking of OUSD, can you tell us how it helps mitigate third-party risk? Yeah, so when you're putting your money in origin dollar, you, you have no counterpart risk at all. Uh, the, you're interacting directly with a smart contract. So all of the code is there on chain. You can audit it, all the funds you can verify uh, on a, a block explorer. You can see all the funds are there and there's no question about the solvency of the protocol. So everything is visible on chain, it's fully transparent, it's fully custodial, self-custodial. Okay. So you don't have to trust uh, anyone else uh, with your money. You're depositing it into a smart contract and you can know for sure that it's there and it's safe. Awesome. And tell us a little bit about OUSD Volume 2. What is that? Yeah, so we just recently launched uh, a number of new improvements to the protocol okay. uh, in order to get higher yield. So we just integrated a new protocol called Morpho. Uh, it's a layer on top of Compound and Aave, which allows for more efficient matching between lenders and borrowers. So lenders earn a higher yield and borrowers can borrow at a lower rate. Uh, so okay. that... Um, that is additional yield for origin uh, dollar holders. Um, we also have some new meta strategies on Convex and Curve where we're able to earn a higher yield okay. uh, using the same amount of underlying collateral. So um, those two improvements together, we just launched this new version of origin dollar uh, and we've seen uh, the, the yields go up, like I said, from low single digits down for about 7.5% over the last 30 days, which is, um, you know, quite exciting, especially yeah. in, in this market. Yeah, absolutely, that's great. So what application for OUSD are you most excited about? One of the things I love about it is just the versatility of it. You can uh, hold it as a retail investor. Uh, you can hold it as an institutional investor. It works for whether you're holding $100 or $100 million. It, mm -hmm. it still works exactly the same way. Um, one of the things that I'm really excited about too is how you can plug it in as this money Lego. Uh, and plug it into different types of applications. So we're seeing other people are starting to use Origin Dollar as a yield generating engine for their own protocol. So they, they, can, um, they can plug it in, use it as one part of their protocol, mm -hmm. and then they can build other stuff on top of that and they can focus on the unique applications of their protocol, protocols without having to you know, reinvent the wheel on how to earn yield. So exciting. Now we are at the Future of Crypto event. So in your opinion, what is the future of crypto? Uh, future of crypto is trustless, decentralized. Uh, we're seeing, you know, with the whole fallout from FTX, we're seeing billions of dollars moving off of centralized exchanges mm -hmm. uh, and into self-custodial wallets. And so I think people have learned a very expensive and painful lesson, and that is uh, bringing them back to was sort of a, the the true like true crypto, which is not your keys, not your coins. Yes, uh, managing your own funds is, is challenging, it's hard, you have to learn about it, uh, but it's, it's better than the alternative, which is trusting uh, a, a scammer with, with your money. And so, yeah. future of crypto, self-custodial, um, is trustless, it's really uh, DeFi, NFTs, this, this is really the future. Mm -hmm. Awesome, and looking ahead to 2023, what are some priorities for Origin Protocol? I'm sorry, one more time? What are some priorities for Origin priorities, Protocol? Priorities, uh, growth, right? So <laughs> for Origin Dollar, top priority is growing the TVL. How do we get our total value locks? How do we get more capital into Origin Dollar? Um, so we're spending all our time focusing on um, 
we're reaching out to DAOs, institutions, uh, even you know retail investors, and try and tell them about Origin Dollar and what we're building, and why you might want to use this, um, and why you might want to hold this in your in your wallet. Uh, for an NFT platform, the main thing we we care about is uh, in helping the creators we work with make more money. So we're most focused on how we can increase the amount of trading volume on on our NFT platform. We have a marketplace that you can use for um, trading NFTs. If you're a creator, you can create your own white label marketplace uh, and you can check that out at story.xyz if you're, if you're interested in, in checking that out. Josh, thanks so much for being here. Really Thank appreciate you. it.